All right. Um, what's up, guys? <coughs> this is Axel, and I'm going to do my first pixel art video in a while. So, hopefully, you guys can enjoy. Um, I'm gonna do a s big sprite of very amigo. So, what I like to do is I like to stick with the colors that they already have in their avatar. Um, with this one, there's a limited color range, so I might actually decide to add some more colors later. Um, Alright, so I like to start with the face shape. I usually screw this up a lot, so bear with me. Let me just draw something. In. Yeah. Alright, we'll just see where this goes. I like I like to do this, and then I get a rough sketch of the head shape, and usually turns out pretty good when I clean it up. Let's see, I'm gonna decide where to put the chin, maybe right there. And it's gonna be covered with a beard anyway, so. All right. Let's just get this like this. Do do. do. This usually takes a while. All right. So once I get the basic face shape, essentially, like this is starting to come pretty good. And I noticed that it's a bit rounded, so I'll stick with that as well. It kind of looks a little bit like a chibi, but I'm not gonna do a chibi. Um, here, I'm gonna go silent for a little bit. Alright, so I really don't know why I'm cleaning this up, because it's going to be covered by his hat later, but whatever. It's something I like to do. Alright, we'll give him his ear. His little pirate ear. Arrgh! I'm a pirate! That was a terrible pirate impression. I'm sorry. <coughs> do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Do, 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 do. All right, we got this. Oop, that was an accident. Yeah. There, he's kind of got a little dent in his head, but that's all right. It's gonna be covered by a hat. All right, so I've pretty much got the basic shape going on here. Maybe I should clip that ear a little. A little, mm, let's give that a little more roundness to it. Alright, so now we've got the basic shape. Uh, I'm not going to fret about this area too much because it's going to be covered by a beard. Alright, so now we have the basic shape of Furry Amigo's head. Um, now I usually like to skip to the eyes. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm not exactly sure if I should keep his his round eyes. I think I should actually give it a more, I don't know, a game feel to it. Like anime style game. Final Fantasy. Um, I'll try giving it one of those styles of eyes. Um, yeah, you don't see this eye. It's fine. I'll just mark where it is. See, does that look okay? <laughs> Um, and the tutorial's done. No, I'm just kidding. This is not a tutorial. I'm not done. Um, although you could treat this as a tutorial if you want to. That's totally fine. I'm not the uh, video police, so you can do with this footage what you want. Well, not really, because I kind of own the footage. But you can take it however you want to take it. All right, where does this eye patch go? Does it? No, you can't really see anything, so... I'm just going to bring it up here and clean it up. See, 
my advice is to do sloppy lines and then clean it up. You you make the lines in the general area that you're going to have something go and you just clean it up from there, make a mess, clean it up. Just rinse and repeat. Just rinse and repeat. So I'm making the eye patch. I should probably actually make this eye first. Just to get the the size of the eye patch. There. All right. We're about done with the eye patch here. There. We'll touch it again later. Um Yeah, clean that up. Okay. Now I'm going to work on the eyeball itself. So what I'm probably going to do is this. Give him some anime styled eyes. Maybe make him more thin to show that he's male. Um, I probably should have made that up higher. I'll put it in between there. Um, Let's see. Usually with males, um, it's best to, well, for in my preference, it's best to make a more angled eye, like like this style-ish, rather than, uh, it looks like he's got makeup on. Hold on. See, like this, rather than... Um, here, let me let me just change this. Rather than a more round eye, like and and a, a smaller pupil too. If, if you know what I mean, like there, I'm just gonna do that. Because usually the female anime characters have rounded eyes, like bigger and the pupils are bigger, the, the iris is bigger. But for a male, I, I would say maybe about this size would be good. Um, for fi Furry Amigo. Um, well, I really don't know his eye color because it's kind of white. So, um, maybe I should just stick with what he's got here. I mean, the circle. Um, Oh well, yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with a circle. Yeah, see like he doesn't look pleased with me. There we go. All right. We'll just round that out. A bit. There we go. There's Furry's face. Now we gotta add his his eyebrow. No, I think I should just get, add his beard first. All right, we'll come back over here. Take this color, because that's what his beard is outlined with. Look at the general shape of it. And then we'll just kind of draw around. You know, just there we go. Let's see how this goes. All right, he's got some glorious sideburns going on. Yeah, glorious sunburn, sideburns, sunburns. Mmm, glorious sunburns. Yes, I love my sunburns. Beautiful sunburns, beautiful sunburns. All right, let's see. Okay, so um, we've got pretty much the basic shape. Now I'll just do a little more. Um, yeah, there we go. Now I'll add the eyebrow later, but it's it's highlighted with some other stuff. It's outlined with some other stuff. Um, his mouth would be about right here, so I think I should actually 
part his mustache and just bring it out a bit. All right. There we go. Um, that look good? Does that look good? All right. Um, yes, sir. We're cutting your hair the best we can. Okay. Just do this. 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 Just take this stuff down. And if he has a dark enough gray, I mean, we can replace some of this black so it doesn't look too cartoony. Um, the look I'm going for is actually like... Hold on. Let me just get into this. You see, this is the look that I'm going for. is kind of a semi-realistic without the, the black outlines. So it's not too cartoony, you know? Um... So that's what I'm going for here. So I'll probably remove some of those black outlines. But I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. Um, anyway, back to this. I'll just clean the beard up a little more. Get some of this stuff cleaned up. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. This usually takes me around an hour to do. Um, but I don't think you want to sit around for an hour. Maybe I should divide this video into two parts. That way you can decide to watch it, the rest of it, if you want to. Um, okay. Should we give him some little lips here? Hmm? There, yeah. There's some lips for it. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just nip part of your mustache off. I'm sorry, but uh, I put it back. Just, just to make you happy. Okay. Um... See, we're going back here. I usually just take a look at what needs do needs doing and do it. I skip around a lot with my art. Like, oh, this caught my eye. I'm going to work on it now. Oh, oh, no, this needs some work too. You know, just just that kind of artistry. Here, I'll add some black to his ear so it looks like a partial outline, I guess you could say. Alright, um, now I'm going to add some shading in his ear. No, no, I'll just finish this out a bit. Alright, so this is looking kind of funky down here at the beard. So, I'll just do that, and then, uh, just, hmm, let's see, there, kind of get this good, there we go, <coughs> alright, so that's the basic beard, beard structure that I'm going for. Um, now, I'm going to try shading his face. Now, I would normally just shade um, everything else in the picture um, before I outline or do any of this stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have undone that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, so I'm just going to take this and outline his face. This is the darkest skin tone he has on his head, so we want to use it sparingly. Um, probably, We'll probably use it for outlining later, like partially replacing the black. Um, we're definitely going to trace out the nose, even though in his picture he doesn't have a nose. We're giving him a nose for a more a more realistic effect. I mean, what's a captain without a nose? I mean, there's no Captain Voldemort for a reason, because he doesn't have a nose. He's got two slits. 
Otherwise, Captain Voldemort would be pretty sweet. Just, hey, Harry, Captain Voldemort's on his way. Yeah, just, just bear with me. Okay, we're going to do the eyebrow now. See, we've done the basic, basic shading for his face. Um, there. We'll just do a little more of this outlining. So you can see his cheeks starting to take form. Um, just going to do a little more of this. I usually like to have my light source coming from this kind of direction. Oop, um, that was an accident. In case you didn't notice that, didn't pick it up. Okay, now we're gonna go to another a lighter color inside of this. So there's not really much to choose from as far as different colors go. Here, I'll try that. Let's see. Alright, so it's kind of lighter, but I'm not really liking where it's going. Um, let's see. I usually like to do hatching too. Um, this guy might be a worn weathered sailor, so he might have a tan, so we'll do a little bit of... T only a little bit. I usually like to hatch to white. Um, like in this picture. Hold on. Let me just go back. Desktop. Uh, da -da -da -da. Pixel art. Where is it? Um, right here. Okay, so I like to, as you can see with this one, you could actually do that. I hatched to white, um, and it gives it a good, good look. I don't know how well you can see that for pixel for pixel, but maybe you know, maybe this guy's a worn and weathered sailor, so he's pretty tan. So I'm gonna say that. Oh, sorry. He's he's a worn and weathered captain. He's no mere sailor. He's a pirate. Okay, let's get her done. Okay, I uh, might as well color that in. I'll work on this. I might actually change the eye so it's not so cartoony because this is looking pretty epic as far as pixel arts of pirates go. I haven't really looked at pixel arts of pirates, so I wouldn't know. There's probably something that kicks the crap out of this one, but whatever. Um, okay, now I'm going to get the lightest value I see of skin, other than his hands. And we're going to apply this and see how it goes. Oh, yeah, I'm not really liking where this is going. Like I said earlier, we might actually have to add more color into it. No, this this might look alright. He's a captain! I forgot his eyebrow. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, so I'm just gonna add a little hatching here. Let's line these up better for hatching. There. Okay. Um, I'll do a little more of the nose. And we'll color this in. Let's get this, get this done here. There. Um, yeah, that looks all right. I really wish there was a lighter tone that I could work with, but to keep this using the same pixels, I colors, values that I see in here, I'm not going to add more. So this is how it's going to have to be. Um, oh my goodness, we forgot his ear. All right, I'm just going to shade this really fast. Okay. Um, it's kind of there. 
And then we'll take this darkest one, put it right here. There's an ear for ya. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a good ear right there. Uh, there. There. So oh wait, wait, wait. I was about to say it was done, but it wasn't. I would have been lying. Alright, so now I'm going to do the lips. Um, let's get this. There. Mm. Yeah, he's got a big upper lip. Or, lower lip. Lower lip. Alright, so there's that. Now, I'm going to come over here. Hold on. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Here, I keep getting sidetracked. See, this is what I do. I... I work on stuff, and then I see stuff that needs doing, and then... I do it. Because it'll bug me until I get it done. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to take this color over here. Here, I'm going to zoom in so I can get it. All right, th that color right there. We're going to take it, and we'll just fill his beard in with it. All right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that'll work. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to undo part of that. Don't really want it to go up there yet. So, yeah. See, I want to keep skin right here, so I might want to actually take this and fill that in there. <sighs> then I'll take this and color around with it. There, see? Yeah, you're you're a pretty pirate. Just kidding. No, you're you're kind of ugly. No, that wasn't the word I was looking for. You're you're an interesting pirate. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. An interesting one. There we go. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that. A bird pooped on his head. Uh, let's get this and a good outline there um that's done um now what i'm going to do is come over here get a slightly lighter one and draw the area that i want the lighter stuff to go like right here we'll kind of give it a little bit of an effect here okay and there you go oh. tolerance I always forget about that alright so we got that I'll fill in these we need to give these a bit more shading Okay, so now that's done. Um, I'm going to come over here and get w another color value. And I'm going to draw where I think this one would be. Like so. Alright. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, now I just need to add this to here. There. I don't normally do hatching in the hair. Just because I like the randomness of the hair. But in this case, I might want to do hatching. There. Let's see. 
See, look, he's looking looking pretty good. Um, I'll do some more here. Uh, there we go. And I'll do a little more hatching with this value. I only like to do hatching in the shaded areas or the major highlights like this. Other places, hatching... Well, I guess there's no other hatching necessity anywhere else other than those places. But, um, I don't usually like to do hatching all over the thing. I only like to use it a little bit. If hatching's a proper term for this. I, I really don't know if that is the proper term. Um, but, yeah. Just get my point across. Um, alright. So, we've got that done. It's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to stop this video um, and cut it in half. Or I might actually do it in three parts because I don't know how long I've been recording. I really should pay attention to that. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.